I went to the first person and left the house. But you know that house is in the house. So I was thinking of the water. It's a lot of money. I looked at the engineer. I got to the The water from up, in other words, the way it was done initially was a place for the
some application but they are coming they are coming yeah so today what is the coming there is an applic there are two applications they are disposing of one then another you we have five, one which is going to be added here. Yeah. No, they are coming. They are coming. 
Take some time.
Don't want to see anybody. Don't want to see anybody. Just want to let us pass allow the lawyers and the case have a seat in front of Representatives. Yeah? 
of the bar. They know how to do their job. They are not sitting there for nothing. They know their job. Huh? So don't talk on issues which you are not supposed to talk. Huh? Because today I'm not going to tolerate it. Hello? Hello? That man there, there is no taking photos because that man there. Brief for Council Kalibalaka. 
so proud. My Lord, the Council Priamsi, my good friend. And to come back to Job. Geoffrey. Geoffrey. And from a catch, Joe. Appear for A1. A2. A3. And A7, my lord. And By and large, was coming up for mention before you. This is a result of uh, your departure, your, 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 your predecessor, my lord, being mm -hmm. classified. Same time, my there was an application that was fixed for today. That is uh, the one of uh, Honorable Alan Sewanya Nakolozia and uh, Honorable Seginya Mohammed versus Uganda. This is Mr. application number 19 of 2022. <coughs> of 2022. Okay. My Lord, I also wish to bring to your attention that there are other applications which I may not quote specifically their references, but uh, there is one, my lord, where Marema then is applied before this court for stay of the proceedings. Until the constitutional matter a petition, my lord, which is before the constitutional court. Is disposable. There was also there's also an application for witness protection. Now which is expert, my lord, by the prosecution. There was also, my lord, a bail application. <coughs> that is by A5 and A6. <coughs> and as such, my lord, um, we seek uh, a debt, my lord, in the first place, from any case, and the other applications, my lord, that I've mentioned,
as we have uh, application number my lord 19 20 of 2022 hi since it was uh, and fixed today for hearing we saw criminal law. And my lord, uh, in that application, I wish my lord to introduce my senior colleagues. Since it is well, I haven't finished uh, the application. Okay, sorry. Okay. 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 Uh, my lord, thank you very much. <coughs> it's true, my lord, that the matter was fixed for pre trial today. You said we should. Yes. And uh, we agree with the prosecution that we should have a date. For the for the trial. I have not heard the state mention if they are through with the collection of evidence. But I would safely assume that after one year any competent investigation would have been completed and concluded. And if that date is to be given, we would pray for the earliest date, subject to the applications that, of course, my colleague has mentioned, except the one of Marima Bilizi, which he mentioned, both him and I are not in a position to tell. But although I think the number for, the, for Marima Bilizi's constitutional petition is mentioned in an application in their reply to an application that is not yet before your lordship. That said, I think except for Mabele Mabilizi's application, we pray that all the other applications be disposed of and that a trial date be set. For an expeditious hearing. So it's the same is hinged on the Constitution. My Lord, a number of the other applications, oh, sorry, I'm meant to understand that we're meant to use the microphone. Sorry? I'm meant to understand that we're meant to use the microphone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I had not applied. Okay. Okay. But uh, I'll be happy if you guided me. For the other applications, my lord, I think in chambers we gave them justice. One, the bail application be subordinated to the application for consolidation. And therefore, awaits and abides your decision in that. My colleague mentioned the application for witness protection, which is ex parte. We have sufficiently addressed court in chambers on our views. And we, we thank court for the guidance thus far. So for the mention, my Lord, I would request that you ask the prosecution in specific terms to inform court if the investigations have been completed. Because that would inform your orders for the next date on whether we shall be, we shall continue to walk to this court for mention. Or we should prepare for a full blast hearing. On that date, subject to your guidance in the subsequent application. Same for that, my lord. My lord, we are ready. We are at peace, and we are ready to move to the next. Meeting. Yes, my lord. <coughs> I wanted to make observations on the main case, my lord. With your predecessor, my lord, we were towards completion of the pre-trial process. 
where the state had largely disclosed part of the evidence. My Lord, I invite court to take note of that in giving the next hearing date for the main case, my Lord. <coughs> Emphasis, my Lord, state be put on whether they are done with the disclosure process so that we are able to commence hearing of the case against the accused persons. <coughs> and my last prayer, my Lord, is that court be considerate in getting the nearest hearing date, owing to the fact, my Lord, that the accused persons have been on remand for close to more than one year. I so pray, my Lord. My Lord, the last time we appeared before this honorable court, there was an issue which wasn't resolved. And uh, it's an issue which infringes on the rights of all of my clients. And that is the issue that he is in the wrong court. That is A number. number two. That is a number two. Yes, Mongi, yes, that is a number two. He was not committed from massacre. And I search out pray this honorable court to if it so pleases to immediately release him. And in case they, the state has any other charge against him, they will proceed with the same after his release, since the proper procedure wasn't followed. The second concern goes also to what my land colleagues have intimated before this honorable court, the one for disclosure. Most of blood. Save that I shall pray for. At least if that is being given another last adjournment we, for the disclosures, for the remaining disclosures. Save the last adjournment. Save for those which are in the which are pending the ruling of God. Most of blood. Yes, my lord. Mm -hmm. My lord, uh, uh, my lord, yes, I will first of all address the issue of our SP. Yes, my lord. <coughs> we do appreciate that this issue came up before your predecessor. And we're supposed to address it. Uh, in the last adjournment, unfortunately, she was in this mm -hmm. It is true, my, my Lord, just that uh, S2 was never committed mm -hmm. in this matter. Mm -hmm. And my Lord, it was also, there was, a, there was a hiccup, there was a problem as in how to go from this place. Because it's a massacre material. 
Mm-hmm. Is a massacre material, not to discuss it. And as such, my Lord, our prayer is that when he that is able to be taken back to massacre, uh, to the magistrate's court, to have this matter handled, because this court has no dispute over him. He was never committed, and I actually wondered why he was brought here. He was never committed, does it appear no, he doesn't appear. He doesn't. So it was a mistake to have him produced before this court. And it is based on the same very mistake my Lord has concerned the prosecution that we pray that he be returned to massacre for an appropriate action, my Lord. But not to have exactly. Exactly. For what? Mass of blood. Yes, my lord. But I can't specify my lord. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's why my lord, for, 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 for avoidance of doubt, eh, he did return to massacre and my lord for another Well, this application, this, uh, this is uh, not in bad way. Uh, well, uh, in respect to the concerns of my senior colleague, Honorable Major Sebona, uh, on whether prosecution should be specific in respect to that set of investigations, my Lord, that is not in doubt because the pre trial had begun in this matter. Okay, just confirm uh, to court that the investigations are open. Yes, my Lord. Maybe and we also need to confirm to court whether, apart from the, so the disclosures that are pending. Are there any other that you Yes, my lord. But again, my lord, also wish to bring it to your attention that uh, the decision in uh, this near application number 19 of page 24. Might in one way or the other affect the disclosure. Because these are two separate files. That means we add we make more disclosures that when court has said or decided that the two be joined together. So we pray that uh, we shall authoritatively address that issue after a decision my Lord has been taken in that business application. Okay. Well, I hope uh, yeah. that's yeah. 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 Um,
muonge watoko cha masaka boko my Lord, I thank you for this opportunity. On 9th of September, uh, 2020, 1st, 1st September, 2021, yes. I was taken to Masaka Court. And I was mentioned that case uh, concerning murder. And uh, uh, the magistrate told me to be remanded. The names were that he had murdered him with John Francis. But my Lord, it has been so long, there are things I can't remember very well. I was with a colleague. His name is Serada Mike. The magistrate told me that in six months' time, if there is no evidence, the court will be so I was sent to Chitalia, then back to Masaka. Now I'm in Rizira, so I don't know from here where to go next. I request to talk about this matter, my Lord. My question was, how did you reach here? Uh, okay. And I spent there seven months, then I went back to Masaka prison. prison then from Masaka prison, I was brought to Masaka to Ruzira upper prison. Uh, early in the morning, I was told to come to this court and I didn't know where I was going. Among the papers that have been distributed to other colleagues, none belongs to me, and there is no evidence concerning my matter. Okay, there are these other people that you are with on now. When you come in, um, apart from Mike, Serwada, were you ever, were you ever uh, brought to court with these other people who are still in Masaka? Michael Serwada, Michael Serwada, Michael Serwada,
Am cadete Sima să nu întâmplă. Sima să nu întâmplă. Am cadete SP Sima să nu întâmplă. Sima. 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 Mr. Uh, yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Uh, to prison from Yeji prison massacre and uh, Yes, is the upper prison. That was following the calling of that file. ICD issued a production warrant for this number zero four, which we are currently at. And they were brought together with his colleagues from Masaka May to Kapo Prison. So his force, we have been producing him as and when required by court. of A2. A2 and A1 are the primarily accused persons on this entire file. There are several amendments of the charge sheet by the state starting from Massacre approximately 405 and these names still surfaces. It is only on the charge sheet, it's only on the indictment where his name does not surface. The last time we appeared before this honorable court, we informed court about the same and state pledged before court that they will give us more information or an update of the same. There is no other file in Massacre where my client is being charged. My prayer then and my prayer now was very simple, that may my client be discharged and all released by this honorable court. Why? Because the illegality by the state should not be this state on my client. Secondly, this honorable court cannot be seen facilitating an illegality. In the case there was an, a mistake, the mistake should not be listed on my plan. Because up to now we still believe, according to the investigations and the disclosures they have furnished to us, my client is not anywhere. <coughs> Most of that. Just a simple humble prayer still, that my client be released and or discharged.
With your permission, my lord, I think uh, with immense respect, I think my, my, my land friend has <coughs> misconstrued your question. One, right now we are dealing with a specific file. It is in respect of that specific <coughs> file that the prosecution is being required. One, to state where we should be coming back. Two, if there is any more disclosures in respect to this particular one, because whether you consolidate or not, they will disclose in this. If there are any specific disclosures that are pending, subject to the other application, in other words, which are not within the four corners of the other application, that the state is having and ready to tender. Maybe my colleagues need to be reminded <coughs> that disclosure is not a matter of discretion. It is a matter of law. That's number one. Number two, it is an integral part of a fair trial, which must be speedy. So if they are ready, they should be disclosed. Well, I don't have the microphone. It was taken back by court, my lord. <laughs> well, my lord, with your permission, thank you very much, first of all. Um, one. The point I want to emphasize, or we want to emphasize from our side, is that the prosecution is being required to answer the question relating to the specific files that has been called. And uh, in particular, to answer if there are any pending disclosures subject to the other application. If anything is not within the four corners of the other application, and has not been disclosed, the duty is to answer whether there is such disclosure pending to when they intend to do that disclosure 
and therefore when I think we should come back to this court. In my view, we should come back this week. Oh. The other thing, my lord. Actually, we'll come back this week, but shall we have uh, concluded the application? No, that's, what, that, that's the point, my lord, subject to all those others. <coughs> and the other one that I wanted to emphasize is that disclosure is not a matter of discretion. It is a duty, legal duty, to disclose and, the, and to disclose in time so as to comply with the constitution which requires a speedy trial because this is an integral part of trial. So I, would, I was waiting to hear my land friend Mr. Bede Vumbuka say yes or no relating to disclosures in this specific file. Two, we would be ready and we would be happy to come back on Friday this week, or Monday, 26th September, subject to your guidance in the upcoming application. Okay, um, but you are also not guiding us. What will Friday? Friday is okay, my lord. Okay, um, on our part, even tomorrow is okay. <laughs> but, yes, yes, I am guided practically, my lord. So, uh, Monday. Let me propose that uh, at least we have two applications that we must deal with. About three, I think, that we must deal with before we come back to this. So I want us to give it to a date um, in October, and I will propose the 18th of October. Yes, my lord. We are going to it, my lord. <laughs> And why am I proposing the team that before you say to the application that have a very that have a very good foundation and be a big part. And before I deal with those ones, I can have a good foundation. So, what are the goals that are going to be there and this is going to be there? You will explain to the people that we have to pass my lord wouldn't be opposed to that idea or direction by court on that only that in the interest of speditious disposal of the matter there are things that ought to have been done uh, even before today's schedule which were not done by the prosecution. For, for example, my lord, the full disclosure. Actually, they have, uh, I don't know whether there is something I'm not getting right. Because from the reading of what I found, the state, uh, in some people, they had disclosed everything, except for what is affected by the application that is before this court, that we must deal with before we come back to conclude the process. And that's where the court. Don't bring uh, something that comes as a result of consolidation. Something that is restricted to what we have here. From what I read, they say they have finished disclosing, self for what is subject to the filing of court in the application that is before the court. I wish they could go on record on that particular matter that they are most obliged, my lord. Yes. Today you said something different. Yes. Let me say something. Let me say something. The application which was expected for protection of witnesses mm. had a very strong bearing on the further disclosure. Remember, there are some things which we are saying we shall do them in the court's conference. And if that application goes to a conference, then we will able to disclose those documents. And that is it. We had agreed on that. But my okay. senior police must also bear with me that there are documents, for example, the forensic report, which we intimated to court, that we will also disclose. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it is not true, so, so, my lord, that we say it was agreed that it would be complete and absolute disclosure. Then why is the application there? Mr. Honorable, the lawyer has said that the application is 
No, no, I think, my lord, we had been misled by Mr. Vidi Vumbuka himself, both in chambers and here, when he said there will be other disclosures. Mm -hmm. I have now, in his rejoinder, been uh, more unsettled when he mentioned that the application for witness protection will have a bearing on other disclosures which are not within the four corners. And that worries me more. Because my supposition is that that application has its limits within four corners and not beyond. Not to say, in case I am allowed, then I can bring more. No, that would, that would be a, a, a serious departure. Did I get him wrong and right? Because he's saying, depending on the ruling of the court, if what, for example, says no protection, then there will be other individuals. Okay. In that regard, they have to disclose that which they intend to protect. Isn't that the position, Mr. Vinay? That is true. Okay. okay, then I think he was answering beyond my question because I did ask, do you have any disclosure beyond the application? We could have that because you were already directed. And as reminded by the Honorable Lord Mayor, there was a timeline which was 1st December. For first any, September. First September, sorry, 1st September this year that any disclosures outside that application had to be done exactly. by 1st September. But since he says there are no disclosures beyond that application, we are comforted. Now, our prayer, Your Lordship, is uh, from the reading of the case, it is a session case. And being a session case therefore means acting with speed. We pray that you be pleased to give us a date later this month, which could be next week, for us to deal with all these issues and we start the trial. And Mr. Honorable Segwena, yes, you, you know very well that you have five applications with you. Yes, my lord. So which we are dealing with today. We are dealing with them. Are you going to submit orally? Yes, we are here to submit, my lord. Okay, fine. Um, remember the date I gave you for the other ruling? Yes, my lord, we do. Maybe for the accused person. We will not find But we will we undertake.
La marina no, no, que chai. Claro, de cigarro. Y que hoy. Ya tú da cocati. Tú da cuya consolidación. Ya we are always blocking other constitutions. We can go behind here the map space behind here for those who want to address and press. No, no, no. You always block other constitutions. The idea is big enough. I hope today you will Protection, witness protection. Should in the meantime, court a rule that they are not subject to protection. Baba, I think I'm going to do other court users. Now you are disrupting me. Hello, how are you? 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 How are